I do indeed, and you can see they're in a state of recline. They're hot and bothered, but they're lying underneath the bushes is the entire Inkuuma pride and our injured lioness. So for those of you who are a bit squeamish, it's probably a good thing to look away now, as you'll see her hip is not in good condition at all. It is fairly mangled, unfortunately. So there is a bit of a wound, saying likely that there is serious damage to that left hip. Now, the thing is, is that she is walking fine. I spoke to the guys that saw her walking this morning. Apparently she's walking just fine, so it looks worse than it actually is. It's just that her skin has peeled off basically from the muscle, and that's why it looks really, really nasty, and it looks a lot worse than it probably actually is, and I'm sure she will recover from it. As long as she's able to get food and water, she'll be fine, but it is a nasty wound. How she got it, no idea. Um, they went into the Kruger National Park. They were absolutely fine, all five of them. They went into the Kruger and they came back and she had that wound not one of the other lionesses is sporting a wound at all so i really don't know what happened to her she's one of the the mothers of the original cubs so she's not the mother of the of the new cubs but i don't know what's happened to her and how what's caused that there's no other scratch on her there's no bite marks on her rest of her body so i really really well and truly don't know what could have caused that but either way it must be seriously uncomfortable in heat like this with the amount of flies that are around she must be driven absolutely mad you can see she's actually not even going to lie on that hip at all she'll probably just lie the way she is for the next few while well, that starts to dry and to heal up a little bit and only once it's actually healed a bit will she start to lie on that left side again the good news is that the female with the cubs is here she's lying just to the left there so that female there she is very thin at the moment but you can see she still does suckle marks so that's a quite a good sign that those cubs are still alive and it's not unusual to see lionesses that are a little bit on the skinnier side when they've got cubs particularly lioness in the pride that's got them because she's having to spend a lot of time away from the pride tracking back and forth trying to feed them the, the cubs are absorbing a lot of nutrients from her and she's spending a lot of time on her own which means she's not going to be feeding as well as everybody else and that means she's going to be a little bit on the skinnier side but nothing to worry about she's still absolutely fine and, and like i say the good thing is that there's still milk there so it means she is producing and hopefully the cubs are fine mooks you're worried about an infection on this lioness well it is a possibility that they could get it but you'll be surprised how resilient these animals are she'll groom that all the time she's going to lick it she's going to clean it she might get a little bit of infection but as long as she's getting food and water her body should be over be able to overcome it it's it's a nasty wound for sure but I have seen worse on lions and I've seen them come back from worse so it's just going to look really bad for a while but once it's kind of dried up a little bit and, and that skin starts to heal and starts to scar you'll find that it's not going to be as bad and she should make a full recovery I was alluding to the fact this morning about Mfumo's face when he had that massive hole in his face and everybody thought that he was going to die and that this is the end of him but you will be surprised just how strong these animals are and you might be wondering why we haven't interfered and tried to dart this Inkuma female and, and treat that wound well the simple fact of the matter is that it's been caused by nature so if she were not to survive unfortunately I know it's a hard stance to take but unfortunately when these animals are injured in nature sometimes it's nature's way of just getting rid of a bloodline that is slightly weaker than others and you do see it happening and, and imagine how many impalas and wildebeest and zebras and varying other animals have walked around here with similar wounds that have not even been looked at twice because they are not a lioness so it's just a blanket rule that we use and it means that there's no black and white or gray i mean there's no gray area it's just black and white is that if an animal is affected by us as people we will try and fix it but if it isn't affected by an animal then well these animals have to try and sort of come right or the nutrients that they would provide will then go back into the soil. I know it's a really horrible way to think about things and especially when it's lionesses or leopards that we see daily and we we get to know really well but in this situation here like I say it looks a lot worse than it actually is. It's um, It's more a flesh wound and a skin wound than it is a deep sort of laceration or any sort of breakage of the bone and the fact that she's moving absolutely fine and walking without a limp means that she's actually not sustained too much damage it'll be a bit tender that's for sure and it'll look quite nasty 
but that should come right. It's just going to be a bit of a mission to keep clean and to make sure that she doesn't get too much of an infection. What we actually need is those flies to land there and, and for maggots to start cleaning it out because maggots, even though it looks really bad, are actually not the worst thing. I remember Fumo's face had a few maggots in them and that helped just clean the wound and get that nice healthy skin and eventually it will all together, but it will take some time for her to come right. I still just can't work out what's actually happened to her. I mean, it must have been a, a, maybe a male or another female grabbed her by the rump there and pulled and that ripped the skin. But uh, it's really an odd wound because she's got not one other mark on her. So there's no cuts around her face or her front legs or bite marks on her back, which would be typical of a fight. So how she's gotten that, I don't really know. And it's not typical of a hunting injury. David, you think buffalo? Well, that's what I was just about to say that buffalo don't cause injuries like that. It's it's very seldom that you'd find a buffalo causing a, almost scrape injury. You'll find a horn injury or a, a broken leg from an impact. It's very seldom that you'll see a sort of a ripping wound like that without a hole somewhere there. There's no evidence of a hole where a horn could have gone in to break that skin like that. So I'm not sure. I, m my suggestion or well, my guess would be more another predator or a particular lion maybe hyenas it's also possible i've seen quite a few lionesses with bad injuries to their tail from hyenas because hyenas will try to go around the back and nip and bite around the tail area in fact the salala lions we know that there's been two different females that lost their tails due to hyenas and the one female that we have that's currently alive from the salalas that lost her tail she had extensive bite wounds around that tail it was actually because i saw her about two three days after it happened and the tail itself was completely stripped of meat there was actually a piece of bone that eventually fell off and then there was these kind of similar wounds all around her back legs and feet and on her on her bum area so it's a similar wound to what you'd see from hyenas but far more restful and far more sort of content are the rest of the pride that are all sitting around in the quarry thickets the cubs all look fairly good